guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing the one watercolor challenge. So what I've done here is I have numbered each of these watercolors 1 to 11 excluding black because I kind of feel like black is cheating. So like yellow is number one, orange is number two, and so on and so forth. And I have here a random number generator. So I'm just going to hit generate and the result is two. So I am going to be using this orange color as the color for the watercolor challenge. Let's get started. So, like you guys saw, I got orange as my color for this challenge, and I don't know why, but I have been in the most Halloween mood these past couple days. Like, I should not be, because it's only like the middle of August, I should not even be thinking of Halloween right now, but for lord knows what reason, I am just in a Halloween mood, and I can't wait for fall to get here, and I can't wait to start all the things I have planned for the Halloween season. So I think it's because of that, and because I got orange as my color, that I decided to draw this cute little sassy witch, and I'm really happy with how she came out, and I'm really glad that I did this challenge, because it was a lot of fun, and I've kind of been super stressed lately because I'm going through some changes at work. I'm actually going from part-time to full-time, so that's kind of just been like stressing me out lately. But doing this challenge was really fun and really relaxing. Like, I felt really just relaxed while doing it because I didn't have to worry too much about the whole thing. Even though it was a challenge drawing, it was just very simple and fun and I don't know I just had a blast drawing this and it was exactly what I needed to kind of take my mind off everything and just have fun and draw for a little bit so yeah um, I start off this painting by blocking in what I knew I wanted to be like a solid color so for example the hair and then later in I block in the hat as well and then from there it's just really a layering process so I just layered and layered and layered because it is hard to get contrast when you're only using one color and it's kind of hard to like add values and keep the values separated from each other so it's really just a matter of layering and when I first started the piece my watercolor was really really watered down and really translucent and then as I layer more and add more layers I also add more paint into my palette as well so yeah um, if you guys want to do this challenge, definitely do, because like I said, it was really fun and relaxing, and it also gets you thinking about things a bit differently, and that's what I love about these challenges, is that you're limiting yourself, but by limiting yourself artistically, you're also thinking about things in a different way, and they feel like that helps you grow more than almost anything else. So, like example, for this one, I had to think about value in a different way than I would if I was just regularly painting. And I also had to think about the shapes I wanted because of course there's the shape, the overall shapes of the piece, so like her hair and her eyes and all that, but in those shapes I had to think about the shapes of the value, if that makes any sense. Like for example, I had to block off pieces of the hair to make it look like actual hair. And usually I do this by adding different colors. Like for example, I like to add purple to all of my shadows to make it look different. But I couldn't do that with this. So I had to really think about the shapes of my shadows and how I wanted that to reflect different contrasting colors. Um, but yeah, it was definitely a challenge, but it really made me think of things in a different way, and I hope that I can carry that on to my other paintings as well. So yeah, definitely try this one out. It's awesome. So much fun. So yeah, um, like I said, I'm really happy with how it came out too. I think she looks like really cute and sassy, and I'm just going to talk about Halloween for a little bit. Um, I am thinking about doing Vlogoween, and I tried doing Vlogmas last year and it was a disaster, but since then I've gotten a lot more comfortable vlogging, and I actually have like a lot of themed videos I want to do for the month of Halloween. I mean, the month of October. <laughs> month of Halloween. It's basically what it is anyway. So let me guys know if you're interested in watching a bunch of different Halloween videos. I really would like to do one every single day of October, but like I said, I'm going to full time at my job soon, so that may be a little difficult. But yeah, if it's something you guys would really like to see though, I would really like to do that for you guys. Plus, I love Halloween. Like Halloween and October is my favorite time of year 
ever. I am always the most happiest in October, and it just, I don't know, I'm always so motivated and inspired and excited and happy, so yeah. I'm definitely going to do quite a few themed Halloween videos, but yeah, so just let me guys know if you have any suggestions for that or if it's something you guys would be interested in. I know not everyone watches my vlogs, and that's okay. Um, but I do love making them, and I really want to get better at vlogging too. So anyway, this video is about wrapping up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have done any watercolor challenges, let me know so I can check them out too. I love seeing what you guys have done. So yeah, that's uh, all I have to say. So thank you for watching, and I hope you guys have an excellent week. I will see you in my next video. Bye!